here is getting ready to transplant this blackjack plant here. It's roughly 25 inches tall. Um, put it into a five gallon grow bag with four cups Mexican back guano, four cups Jamaican back guano, two cups brown sugar. Um, that's Jamaican back guano, Mexican back guano, and brown sugar. Um, there's the Mexican back guano, Jamaican. And I'm using the brown sugar in place of the molasses. I used to use, use molasses and mix it, but it sat on top and attracted a lot more bugs. So now I use brown sugar and mix it into the bottom. Um, I've been doing this a while. So the Mexican is really dusty. So I gotta be, I gotta give my phone to my friend. Gotta be careful on it. Try to not stir it up too much. And then I'll put Jamaican on top of it. That'll help hold it down some. And then the brown sugar. And just kind of make sure it's not clumpy or nothing. Makes it kind of cool looking little fall thing as it drops from the top into there. So that's four cups. Mexican back guano. Sun leaves. Four cups Jamaican back guano, two cups brown sugar. That's my nutrients in there. At the bottom of the bag, if you look in here, that's just Fox Farmer Ocean Forest. And then to that, I added two quarts of the small perlite to give it more um, air for the roots. I have eight of these cups at the bottom of those nutrients that I mixed into the bag. And now I'm going to add two more cups on top. This just helps with mixing it up so that it doesn't get as dusty and fly up in the air. And then to mix it up, I just go down, you can see it start to get, pull the newts up. And that's, you can see the dust too, that's what I'm trying to be cautious. Now once I get a somewhat decent mix going there, you can even see how you can see the difference in the just dirt color to the stuff that has the nutrients in it. It's a lot lighter. Once I get that slightly mixed up though, I want to make sure I get all the corners of the bag. So I just kind of run my hand down on the inside of the bag and pull up. And just spin the bag around. That way I know all those nutrients are getting mixed in good and even. Won't get hot spots down there. You'll be able to see too that all the dirt gets the same color and you don't pick up any more of those darker chunks from the bottom. So that should be pretty mixed up in there. Just give it a tap down. That's what I consider stacking my bag. That's my all my flowering nutrients. Um, and so there's no roots in it yet, so as the roots grow into it, they get more of the nutrients. Um, and as time goes, those nutrients all break down. But because I'm transplanting a plant that has just been in Fox Farm, if I laid it right on top of there, it'd kind of burn it a little bit. So I put two more cups of my straight Fox Farm perlite mix on top. That way when I put the plant in there, it's got a little barrier to work its way and grow its own way into the hotter mix at the bottom. I always fold my top one up the bag up. It only takes one time of me hitting a cup. It goes down like this and half the dirt goes out on the side to remember why I do that. This is my blackjack that we're going to transplant in here. First what I'm going to do is, there's some of these smaller little runners at the bottom, only a couple inches long. I'll just cut those off because those aren't going to really produce much. Still got a couple of the bigger ones. After a couple weeks in flower I see how those stretched out and if they'll get decent buds or not. If not I'll cut those off. Um, one gallon bag going to a five gallon bag. I've done everything to try to save money on like rewashing these bags and stuff. Um, 
I don't do that anymore. I picked up a thousand bags a couple years ago and doing two a week that lasts me like 10 years. Instead of washing these bags, I find it much easier to just slice it down one side, slice it down the other side. Brush off the stuff on the top here quick. You can see the roots that are coming down there. Now, what I want this plant to do for a couple weeks is first establish itself growing new roots out into here and just in that bottom. So I do take my fingers and break up the bottom a little bit all the way around just so that they start going out. Check the height there. It's too high. Move it down a little bit. Then I'll also go around the side and pull out just a little bit just so that the roots are going to the outside of the bag at first relatively straight I'll put a pole in it later go back to my regular dirt box farm, put it around the side Put them on these saucers so I can just spin it around easier. Hmm. Hold on this second. Stake it. My stakes I color a different color on the top so that they're not green and that way I don't poke my eyes out with them. Alright. Back to pulling up around the edges. So I got some in there, take my fingers kind of like that and pack it in. I put extra perlite in so that if I, I can pack it good and I don't got it to soak down and the roots still grow good. You can see the rip cut, the Rockwell cube that the clone came in there. I want to kind of get the dirt about as high as that, if not a little bit higher. So that is how I stack a bag. Five gallon bag. The Mexican back guano, Jamaican back guano, and the brown sugar are all from there down. A little bit of fox farm dirt, and then the other plant just planted in there. The first couple weeks I'll do what I call short watering it, where I only want the water to come down to that part of the bag, and then slowly add more water. Well, I'll give it one good water at first where it gets it all wet and starts breaking it down, but after that, just slowly extend it down as it goes through flower. That's how I transplant and how I use nutrients. Happy growing.